Hello my fellow Tagalog learners. How is everyone this week? Today we're going to talk about some more uh, vocabulary words so that we can make sentences Sunday. So, mga bahagi ng bahay. Manga is the special character for plural. Bahagi means part, so parts ng bahay of the house, parts of the house. So first we have baño, which is bathroom. But to tell you the truth, most Filipinos say CR. CR means comfort room. So manga CR or ang CR, bathroom. Balcon, balcone, sorry, is porch. Bodega is storehouse. Garaje, garage. Ibaba, sorry, that second I is not supposed to be there. Ibaba means downstairs. Itaas, upstairs. Comidor, dining room. Or you can say kainan, dining room. Because comidor is the Spanish influence of dining room, whereas kainan, dining room, is strictly Filipino. Cucina, kitchen. Cuarto is bedroom. Labahan, laundry room, and sala, living room. Now we talk about manga banza. Banza is nation. So manga ba banza would be nations. So we have America or Estados Unidos for the United States of America. España, Spain, Japón, Japan. Remember when we talked about Japón versus Japón? Japón is Japan, where Japón is afternoon. So Japón, Japan, Italia, Italy, Mexico, Mexico, Filipinas, the Philippines, Francia is France, Timog, Korea is South Korea, Timog is South, and then China is China. Manga lugar. Lugar is place. So manga lugar would be places. We have aklatan, library. Banco, bank. Bahai, house. Barbaria or barbariahan is barbershop. Dormitorio, dormitory. Escuelahan, school. Canto is the street corner. Cafeteria, cafeteria, clinica, clinic, oficina, office, hospital, hospital, hotel, hotel, palinque, market, palinque, paliparan, airport, panaderia, bakery, post office. Post office, restaurant, restaurant, simbahan, church, sinahan, movie theater, tindahan, store. They also have what's called a sari sari, which is like a little corner market. So you may hear sari sari. Question words. Bakit is why. A no. What? Sino. Who? Now, nasaan and saan both mean where, but when you use saan, it immediately follows with a verb or an action word, whereas nasaan, after this, you would just use is or are, which is I in Tagalog. So, nasaan and saan are both where. Tagasaan is from where. Kailan. When, kung saan, wherein. Kung is another word for if. So, kung saan, those two words together means wherein. Alin, which. Paano, how. Makano, how much. Now, for our sentences, we have to have some verbs. So, I wrote down a few of them. And I didn't realize till later that 
I got them switched, so you'll have to bear, uh, give me some patience. So, Nag Aarau is studying. Pag Babasa, reading. Nag Tatrabaho, working. Nakatira, residing. Pupunta, going. Pag Dating, coming. Darating, arriving. Pag Mamaneho, driving. Nakatayo, standing. Naglalakad, walking. Tumatakbo, running. Pagla Pagluxo, jumping. Nakikita, seeing. And Naglalakbay, traveling. Now, these are all present tense verbs. So on Sunday, when we start making our uh, sentence structures, we'll need some verbs. So we have some verbs here so that we can work on our sentence structure on Sunday. Now this is just a review for markers. So ung is the in the singular form. Ung manga is the in the plural form. C is the marker to say that I'm fixing to say a name or a proper noun of someone. And sina is the same thing, but this is in the plural form. Nasa is in, at, and on. And sa is in, at, and on. And we'll talk about the differences in these in a later, uh, in a later lesson. Taga dash. Now this is when you start talking about where you're from. So Taga, Missouri, or Taga, Arkansas, that is where I am from. Then you have Nung or Ni is both uh, of in Tagalog. Now some common expressions to get us going with sentences. This is just a review, this first page. Magandang umaga, good morning. Magandang tanghali, good noon. Remember that's from like 11 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon is their noon. Magandang hapon, good afternoon. Magandang gabi, good evening or good night. Komusta ka, how are you? Komusta kayo, is how are y'all or you in the plural form. Komusta kayo po, how are you? Now this is when you're talking to an older person or someone that is in a uh, professional field. Because po would be sir or ma'am, showing respect. Como esta cayo po? Como esta na? How's it going? Como esta ang trabajo mo? How is your work? Como esta ang mga clase mo? How are your classes? Ano na? What's up? Anong bago? What's new? O sige means all right or goodbye. Ingat ka, take care. Remember that special character right there. Ingat ka, take care. Kita na lang tayo mamaya. See you later. O sige, all right, see ya. Shanga pala, oh by the way. Shanga pala, shanga pala, oh by the way. Talaga, really? Eto si John, kaklase mo. This is John, my classmate. Malapit lang sa, just close by, wherever you want to say. O sige, namuna, bye for now. Papunta na ako sa, I'm now going to, banco, the bank. Salamat. Thank you. Now remember when we were talking about the syllables, the stress is usually on the second to the last syllable if there's more than one or two syllables in a word. So it'd be salamat. Salamat. I hear a lot of people say salamat. That is incorrect. It is salamat. Thank you. Walang anuman. You're welcome. Or literally, it's nothing. So, uh, practice these vocabulary words, and then this coming Sunday, we will do our second type of sentence structure. 
so that we can start in our reading in Tagalog or having our conversations with other Filipinos. Until then, study hard and I'll see you Sunday.